Hello everyone, my name is Dave Portner and today I've come to utterly destroy your CSS fears. Alright, and um, today we are going to try and place two divs side by side. Have you ever wondered how they managed to place a side column in uh, using CSS? So this is how we will get it done. This is my HTML page and um, this is my external CSS file which I already have here and it's empty. First of all, we'll create the two divs we want and uh, we give them an um, ID so we can select them in in a, in a CSS. So we can just call this a, um, a div, let's say div left, we can just call it a name and then um, we can say something hello right word Then we can, as a programmer, we should be lazy, we copy, and we can say, hey, deep right, and um, hello, leftist party, party world. Okay, we have these two guys here, then we'll come here and refresh. First of all, you notice that they are, as we just arranged them here by default, stacked vertically, but we want them to be stacked horizontally side by side. So what we we'll do is come to our uh, index, uh, uh, whatever the CSS, and um, so we style them from here. What we we'll first do is um, let's just print the background to the different colors, so we can know what we are seeing. So we have a background that is um, cool like this and um, another background for this other guy here the, the, the right the, the right let's choose something that is easy to to spot the difference so cool we have these guys here and um, cool the next thing we want to do is to give them a width so the width we we'll divide the screen into two, give them a width of um, 50%. Each of these guys will have a 50% width. Alright, so we we'll go and check. Remember, this is my full screen, so 50% should be somewhere in the middle here. So we we'll refresh and then we have it. So this guy still needs to come to this side. And what do you do to make them come to this side? Guess what? We float to the left. If you took our tutorials on the menu, remember how we got them to stack horizontally? We float to the left. So initially it doesn't show anything because we just floated one, but what if we float the second one to the left too? And um, guess what? Float this guy to the left, refresh, bang, that's it. Okay, so at this point we can say, hey, we've completed the tutorial. Other beautiful things you can do is to pad everything and say, hey, everything, temperatures, and um, do all that cool stuff, depending on what you want. Then now we've padded them, we saw that it came back, which means the 50 pixels, 50% 50 is no longer enough. So we reduce the, the sizes we have here as a way to escape this malady so um, you can just keep adjusting till you get the right the right um, this thing you need oops that means 48 is not enough so we go and um, try to reduce this guy to something cool so um, let's try something like 45 percent and refresh and cool we're good to go so depending on uh, the, your requirements you can keep adjusting till you get what you want this can serve as a side menu or whatever depending on your needs so thank you very much like and subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to visit my site printm.org for more tutorials if you have any questions leave them in the comments and i will help out thank you see you in the next video